Hello, welcome to this second video tutorial of Project BBCG, a better brand color guide. My name is Eddie Hagen, uh, the person who started uh, Project BBCG. Um, this time it will be a very short video tutorial, but a very important one. And this is on a new job profile that we need being the color exchange coordinator. As you may have seen in the previous video tutorial, it's quite easy to make a ASZ file for brand color specification exchange, but there is one thing uh, that is that can still um, uh, mess up your design, and I'll show you with my own brand colors uh, for insights for pins. If you look here, there are different variations for uh, different usages. Um, so, for instance, for spot color and RGB, for coated uh, CMYK and uncoated CMYK. Now, suppose that I want to I uh, have a printed brochure, and I know that the guy who's going to do that is not always uh, very focused, and he sometimes messes up things. So what I could do is first rename this group. Um, so insights for print, and this is a printed brochure. Whoops. And uh, that's, of course, a typo. And I select all the other colors except the coated one and I just delete them. So now I have a set of only CMYK coated colors. What I'm going to do now is export them, export swatches for exchange. I uh, will call it uh, insights for print, printed brochure. And this is the ASZ file that I will give to the designer together with the rest of the briefing of the uh, project. Uh, so I'm going to switch to InDesign now. And here I am going to uh, load the swatches. And here it is, Insights for print, Printed Brochure, ASE. And look here, these are only the coated uh, colors. So this, these are the colors that are necessary for this project. So instead of having exchanging always a general ASZ file, make it best practice to exchange only project-based ASZ files. Only those colors of the long list that you have might have uh, that will be used for that specific uh, project. Now, also best practice is to delete all the other colors that are in that swatches list. So even upfront, delete everything and then import the project-based ASZ file. Now, there is also a script available uh, for Adobe applications to delete all the uh, swatches that are in the list. I will um, uh, put a link in the description of this video and on the uh, uh, Project BBCG website in the blog post. So that's it. Uh, nothing more uh, than this. So it's quite easy to make those ASE files. It's very important to have a color exchange coordinator we will make project-based ASZ files, and this way um, confusion will be very, very limited or just eliminated. So try it this way. Uh, it will uh, certainly make the life of designers and people doing layout much easier. Thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting Project BBCG, and see you later.